right so we'll stop right here before we go any farther let's go back to our intro in the right hand you'll notice I'm doing a melody line A flat C B flat A flat all right but simultaneously uh, we want to use some chords as well so we'll start A flat C once we get to our B flat now we're going to use chords left hand let's use uh, D flat and A flat right hand D flat and B flat all right so we have a couple of options here on the right hand chord all right I threw the F in there as well or if not that then we can just use put the B flat on the bottom as well as the top so B flat D flat and E flat bottom Okay. And the idea here also is uh, not just playing the chord, which you could play that, all right, but also just a little something extra. All right, so we sort of want to roll into the chord instead of playing it directly, but it's a personal preference. The idea here is just to let the melody line sort of ring out a little bit at the top, okay? All right. And sometimes if you're not used to doing that, if you're used to playing chords directly and you start doing something different like this, it might take just a just a moment to get the touch right so that it sounds clean. So let's move farther. All right, so we're going to do the same thing again. A flat, B flat, excuse me, A flat, C, B flat, A flat, and C. All right. Once we land back at B flat, we're at a chord in the left hand. Let's use G flat, B flat, and D flat. Same thing in the right hand. A flat, C. Now, once we land on the C in our right hand, simultaneously we have a chord in the left. E flat, G, A flat, and C. All right? All right, this chord, let's use C, D flat. We could also use the F and A flat. Or we can take out the F and just use C, D flat, and A flat. Now we have, we'll expand into uh, B flat, C, D flat, F, and C. So it should sound something like this. All right. One note on the bottom, my left hand, I'm just using G. The right hand.